If your ex calls you and you want them back, should you respond? The answer to this question is going to determine how long you're going to be in no contact. So if you don't want to prolong the amount of time you're in no contact, you need to do the right thing. What's the right thing? Well, stay tuned and you'll find out. Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. Welcome back, beautiful no contact army. Have you downloaded Silencio, the app to help you stay in no contact? If you haven't, the link is underneath every video and podcast. And if you too would like to join our no contact army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our manual, go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before you purchase the book. So I'm making this video because one of our no contact soldier was a bad little soldier. (laughs) And I've talked about this before. I've mentioned it before, but I figured I would give it its own video because I don't want the same thing to happen to you. So she was doing fine in no contact for about three weeks. And then her ex started to send breadcrumbs as exes often do. They don't just disappear. No, they can't just make your life easy and disappear and not send breadcrumbs. So she was a good little soldier initially and she didn't respond. And then he called and she answered. Yeah. So she did the wrong thing. But then, as if that wasn't bad enough, she was on the phone for hours, which I talk about in my video. Do not give this to your ex, and I'll put the link in the upper right-hand corner on YouTube. You do not stay on the phone for hours if you hear from your ex. You're giving them way too much reassurance. And did they get back at the end of the conversation? Did they get back together? No. So now she's back in no contact. And in fact, he said that he actually did not want to get back together, which begs the question, then why are you calling me? And why did you send a bunch of texts? And he said that he sent, he called because he wasn't sure if he was blocked because she hadn't responded to his breadcrumbs, which again, I think, okay, well, if you don't want her back, then what do you care if you're blocked? to the point of where you're calling, right? So it was about his ego and pride. Oh, you're just going to walk away? So you are taking away any anxiety that's been built up when you respond because you don't know why they're calling, but you're going to assume it's because they want to get back together. But the chances of that are slim to none. So here's how you're going to deal with your ex calling you. First of all, you're going to expect them to call you, okay? Expect that there may be a call so that you're not shocked. But even if you're expecting it, you're still gonna be shocked. And by force of habit, you're gonna wanna respond. It's like, oh, oh, he's calling, I gotta respond, she's calling. No, you gotta stop yourself. And the best way to do that is, first of all, their number shouldn't even be in your phone in case you dial them by mistake and break no contact. So the number is not supposed to be in your phone in the first place. And whenever I tell people to take the number out, they're very resistant because you're not being logical because people think, oh, if I take their number out, we'll never get back together. No, just as if you keep their number in there, it doesn't mean you're getting back together. Taking their number out of your phone has no effect on whether you're getting back together or not. Again, you're not being logical. So take their number out and then you have to be prepared to not respond to any calls unless you absolutely know who it is. They're in your contact list. And this is a way to also make sure you don't end up speaking to a spammer or scammer. So if you can do that, that's great. Now, if you can't take their number out or you don't want to, if there's a way to send your calls to voicemail, all your calls to voicemail. Most people are not going to want to do that. I understand. I don't know if there's a way to send just one person's number to voicemail. I wish there was. There probably isn't, but you can check on the phone that you use. That's another way to make sure you don't respond. Otherwise, the other thing to do is to change their name in your phone to remind you not to respond. So you can change it to danger, danger, or no. <laughs> that would be an N with like 10 
zero, not zeros, O's and then exclamation marks at the end, or do not respond, or stay in no contact, Lucia said no, warning, whatever is going to remind you to not pick up that phone, and every bone in your body, every cell in your being is going to want to pick up that phone because you think, oh, especially if they call at night, like, oh, well, maybe, maybe he's hurt. Maybe something happened. Maybe he needs me. The chances, again, of that being the situation are slim to none, especially if you've been ignoring their texts. Now they're checking to see why you've been ignoring and they're going to call you. They're escalating. But this is not the type of escalation where we respond because we want to see if they're going to leave a message and what kind of message it is. So hopefully changing their name in your phone so that you don't respond will stop you from responding. But again, you're going to be tempted. Your primitive brain, your fearful brain will want to respond. You'll think, oh no, if I don't respond, they'll never call again. I'll never give them back. This is my only chance. I got to respond. No, I'm emphasizing this because I know that you're going to want to respond. Okay. I already know that. So I'm drilling this into your brain. Please hear my voice. When you see your ex is calling, I'm telling you, do not pick up. Do not pick up. Do not pick up. Have I made my point clear? Okay, because you don't know why they're calling. If they want you back, they will leave a message or they will let you know some other way they want you back. Because otherwise, you're going to end up breaking no contact for no reason, like this girl, and reassuring them that you're still interested. So what's the incentive to hurry up and try to get you back if they know that you're still interested, that you're willing to spend hours on the phone with them, or you're willing to pick up and have a conversation? You just killed your no contact and you've set yourself back. So if it takes longer to get them back, it's because you picked up the phone. So do not respond. They must leave a message and it must be significant before you will call them back. Got it? Okay, so I want to hear from you now. Has your ex called you while you've been in no contact and have you responded or not? Were you a bad little soldier or a good little soldier? And in the meantime, if you would like my help to get your ex back, you can contact me at theartoflove.net and we will send you the rates. The direct link is underneath every single video and podcast. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.